Hey guys, it's Tiffany with Mud and Mascara. And we are in another collab. This one is called Ultimate Cookie 23. Hashtag Ultimate Cookie 23. This is hosted by a very sweet lady over at CNC Farms, and her name is Ashley. Make sure that you guys go check out her channel because on the channel, of course, is where you're going to find the playlist. Under the playlist section, you'll go to the Ultimate Cookie 23 section, and you'll be able to go through and watch all the videos. Uh, make sure that you leave a comment on the videos because she will be doing a drawing on December the 20th. On December the 20th. She's doing a drawing, but from what I'm understanding, it's a recording. And the video will be released on December 21st. So, if you're not subscribed to her, make sure that you subscribe. That way, you can get the notifications um, from the prize winnings and get to know the channel. Also, make sure you go check out all the channels on the playlist and leave a comment on them. And you might make a new friend. You might find a new recipe. Because I was checking some of these recipes out. I was like, wow, I've never heard that before. So, what we're doing today is making clod hoppers. I ran across this online searching for something different. This is, you could, I guess, make this into a cookie. However, it's more like um, candy crumbly bites. You'll see when we get done. But there's only three ingredients, okay? So, the first ingredient is going to be, hopefully, one sleeve of graham crackers, all right? It says two cups of graham crackers, and you're going to want to crush these, but not to a powder. You want them to be able to adhere to the cashews and the chocolate that are involved in it, so that it makes like a bite. Um, but it says one sleeve will make one cup. Um, and then you're going to need one cup of cashews. I uh, I would suggest getting the half in pieces because if you get the whole one or the halves that are just solely halves, it's a little too long to try to make the candy. Um, and then, of course, one bag of white chocolate. And you can flip the script on these. You can use uh, regular chocolate, uh, black, dark chocolate or milk chocolate, however you want to do it. Um, but... The first thing you're going to want to do is grab some scissors. I'll be right back. All right. I don't know why I totally forgot that. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to melt your chocolate. You're also going to need, if you look down here, and I have a small pan because I have a very tiny oven, but you're going to need a pan lined with parchment paper because that's where everything's going to end up at. Now, if you're able to use your microwave, of course, you can melt these in the microwave. You know, you want to start out at 45 seconds, stir, and then go again until you get them melted. That way, you won't scorch them. However, I'm using my stove. So, so what I've had here going is some water for a sim like a double boiler. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and you need the entire bag of chocolate, okay? And while this is, you want to keep your eyes on the chocolate, even if you're doing it in the microwave, because it will scorch. Oof, I don't like that shot. Because it will scorch. I guess my camera fell a little bit, sorry. Um... So, I'm just going to keep stirring this while it melts, along with getting the other stuff ready. So, you're going to need a bowl. And I'm going to crush these up inside of here. Like this. You know, like you do a sleeve of crackers. But you don't want these uh, kind of sort of so fine that they're crumbly. From what the recipe says, by the way. You need kind of pieces in it, sort of, you're going to have some crumbs, but kind of sort of pieces, bite-sized pieces, too. So, we're just going to put this in. The 
the thing. And if you see some that are a little bit bigger like this, right, you're going to want to just kind of crack them up. Because you don't want them to be too big where people can't buy them from what the recipe says. And I'll put the recipe in the link below, but it's super simple. Let me stir this, actually. Just make sure if you're using a double boiler with a white chocolate, keep your eyes on it. Because it will burn. <coughs> I'm going to turn this down a little bit because I don't want it to burn. All right, so it's still good. So, like I said, make sure that these are kind of broke up. I think these will be cool at any party, whether it's Christmas, Thanksgiving. I mean, when you have company over, just something sweet for them to snack on. Um... And once your chocolate comes up, it's very fast. So make sure that you have this ready beforehand. So then you're going to add in one cup of cashews. And remember, you want them to be, you know, kind of pieces like that. All right. And I know that I have some long ones in here. So I'm going to try to break them up. And this would probably be a little bit easier in the microwave, but... I'm just doing it the old fashioned way, y'all. I hope that's enough chocolate, but that's what it says one 12 ounce bag. So then you're going to take and mix this together. So everything distributed. That way, if you see any more bigger pieces, you can kind of break them in half so people can. this bowl. and literally either way you can either dump this in here or dump this in here okay so I still got a little bit that's not let me get my other spatula all right so all my chocolate's melted And then you're just going to bring the chocolate over to here. And you're going to put it all over the nuts and the graham crackers. And then mix them up. And you kind of sort of, I'm trying to do this quickly, but I'm trying to make sure I get all my chocolate in there. parchment lined paper and you want to just kind of spread it out across the paper and you're going to bring it of course you could put it in your refrigerator right and let it cool but it's pretty cool in here and my refrigerator is very tiny 
Our pants aren't going to fit in. So just kind of spread it out like so. And then once it gets cool and gets hardened, then you'll break it in pieces and just put it in a little serving dish, okay? So that's how you make clod hoppers. And I'm about to try it right here on my spoon. But once this cools off, all you're going to do is break it up, put it into a serving dish, set it on the table. That way people can munch on it while they're there, you know, waiting or after dinner. It would be kind of good for a sweet treat. But let's see what it tastes like. Mm. <laughs> That's good. And when it gets cold, it's going to be even better. You know, once it all comes together, it is going to be so good. Because you're just going to kind of sort of break off, you know, bite-sized pieces similar to what I'm trying to grab right now. Kind of sort of like that. And then just throw them in your dish. You're good to go. But it's good. Sweet. But it's very good. Anyways, guys. Make sure that y'all go back and check out the playlist over on CNC Farms with Ashley. Go back and watch the videos. You may find something really cool you've never seen before. I've seen some names on the list. I'm like... Like I said before, wow, I've never heard of that. And you might need to meet some new friends. All right, guys. I love y'all. And remember that God loves y'all, too. Remember that. I don't know what that was. All right, guys. Love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.